Good morning, modern steaders. 32 degrees out this morning. Feels nice. Uh, I can't wait this morning. We're gonna work some more on the pasture pig mobile. First, we're gonna let the goats out and see how Hope did through the night. We'll let her out while we feed the other goats and see how they do eating together. Come on in, girl. Come on in, Hope. Girls want your alfalfa and some sunflower seeds. Come on in. Come on out. Oh, look at that. You got your foot all out. You got your foot out. What'd you do? There you go. Come on out here. Come on. Let's go eat with the other girls. Gonna act like that. You need to go to the other side. There you go. Willow a little bit of grain since she's pregnant. Buttercup's like, ah, oh, I want some of that. Alright guys, I, this one still doesn't make any sense to me. No water is frozen anywhere else except on this rope again. What is going on there? It's all wet here. I'm sure that has something to do with science or physics, but it just makes no sense that it's freezing on that rope. If you know why, leave it in the comments down below. I gotta go take care of a few things in the barn. I'm gonna leave Hope and the girls out. i leave the camera running. We'll see if anything happens while I'm in the barn. You would think Willow would be a little nicer to Hope, but she's not. I want to leave Hope out here while I'm doing the chores for New York City, but just seeing the way Willow is acting when I was right there, I don't think I should, guys. I would hate for Hope to get hurt. She's still too small to protect herself. All she can do is run and hide. And if they bully her or get her in a corner, wouldn't be good. We gotta go back inside. We'll come out later. There you go. Let me get you some chaff hay. I know you'd rather be out with the girls, but we don't want you getting hurt. There you go. Now if Hope had a mother that was here, it'd be a different story because Hope's mother goat would be protecting her from the bigger goats. And right now Hope doesn't have anybody protecting her. So that's why we're being that's why we're being cautious with letting her out when we do between that and the cold weather. <clears throat> with all the rain we got yesterday, I think we can hook up the rainwater collection system in New York City to water the chickens. Oh, it's a good day when you don't get a log water to the animals. <laughs> Come on in guys and girls. I guess I forgot to shut the coop up last night. That's not good. They're all here luckily. <sighs> Changing up the routines you forget sometimes. Normally all winter, all winter I haven't had to come out and lock the chickens up at night. Now I gotta remember too.
I'm glad nothing happened to the chickens, but that might not have been a good thing. water it has a float in it so it, once it gets filled up it stops and when they drink so much it'll fill back up so let's see it's starting to fill up Figaro what are you doing you keeping an eye on Pluto come on Pluto Didn't really touch the cabbage yet. Wow, that surprises me. Hey, that hurt. Ouch, ouch. Thank you. Ow. She did not want me taking her eggs. I wonder if she's starting to go broody on us. That's my guess, because those chickens have never acted that way in the past. It's all looking good still. This is what we need this morning, right here. What are you doing, mister? Huh? the pasture pig mobile as their brooder but it's still been so cold out lately i don't know if that's a good idea having them outside in there with the heat light let's grab the kubota and we'll use the kubota to move the 55 gallon drum I was checking to see if that hole pin would fit under there with the weight box on. It will, but I don't think we'll be able to turn the trailer. We'll be hitting on the weight box. So I'm gonna have to get a different tongue attachment for there. I have one, or I had one. It's just binding <laughs> what we did with it. <laughs> I wanna have my rainwater collection system here but I want to plumb it so I have two nipples coming off on one of these sides coming out of a pipe.
What did I do there? <sighs> yeah, that was my bad. We need a different number. <laughs> uh, so it would be 45. Yeah. Before we cut the next one, I will make sure we went the right length. Thinking too many things in my head at once. That don't work. All right. Do you ever do that? You're trying to figure out too many things at once and not focusing just intently on what you're doing? supposed to rain later today so I'm thinking about just leaving this set up and then seeing how this works out and I can always drill this out with a four inch hole cut a longer pipe this was just a scrap piece we had lying around at a 45 degree angle so this top pot would come here the bottom would go there and it'll come right into the rain barrel we're at a standstill until we run into town and pick up a few extra pieces and I want to wait and see how the rain is. Get those. Yeah, I got those. I ended up going with half inch PVC pipe. I wanted to go with three quarter inch, but they didn't have all the fittings I needed. They didn't have a three quarter inch union so we have the pipe together if we need to take it apart we can just disconnect it here and then put it back together that's one of the things that frustrates me when you go to a store and they don't have all the parts and pieces for every size i asked the worker do you have these for three quarter inch pipe well we should but if they're not over there then we don't ah! <laughs> so we had all the three quarter inch pipe pieces picked out and then we couldn't find this union so i had to put everything back and switch over to half inch 
I'm not going to have time today to put this all together, but I'll show you what I got and what my plans are. So we got this bulkhead fitting, which goes inside the 55 gallon drum. I'll save that for another video. I'll show you how we install that. And then we're going to come out with the half inch PVC pipe. We're going to be threading in, we're going to be doing two hog nipplers. They're going to thread right into the PVC pipe. And then I'll have another pipe coming over here. Find the right 90. Uh-oh. All right, right. Whew. I have a 90 that has pipe thread in it. I got another nipple, but it's not in my pocket. So there'll be, it'll be like this with two nipples coming out of the rain barrel. So I'll be able to have enough water for both hogs to drink at the same time. That should work out nicely. And then, it's kind of nice, Lowe's just started selling individual screws. So when you only need two six inch long screws, it's awesome. I didn't have to ha buy a whole box. We're gonna go attach the gutter system onto the PPM with these. So my thoughts are is to have all this be able to come apart. So in the winter time, we can take this part off because we're not gonna be using it. And if we need to clean it, we can take everything apart, clean it, and put it back on. These gutter systems are able to go on and off. So we can take everything off for the winter if we decide we need to or want to. So I'm gonna drill a hole here. So we got it through there, and we got the hole started. Nice. So we're good on that. I'm gonna stop this project for the day. I'm gonna go inside and do some editing. People are always asking me how my day goes or how much time we have devolved and this and that. I'll be inside editing for about four to six hours and that'll be yesterday's video. So I shoot like two days ahead or a day ahead depending on the time of the day. That way on the weekends we can be in videos as a family together and then when Gina's working I have time to edit those. It's kind of funny but it, the flow of it all works out good. We have time to spend as a family. We have time to video. And then those videos I'll edit during the week. So on the weekend we have more family time to spend with each other. So I'm going to go inside, do some editing, and then we'll be back with Olivia. Well, I told you it was supposed to rain out. It's decided to snow instead. Yeah, it started to rain and snow. That just decided to snow. Yeah. I've been inside in the house for the last five hours trying to edit a video and then the computer crashed. So I've been on the phone for two hours. <laughs> Technology guys, we gotta love it. So if you see in today's video, I hope yesterday's video went out because that's the video it crashed on and I gotta try to go inside after and figure that out and re-edit it, I guess. So I'm not telling you to feel bad for me, I just want you to know, hopefully the video went out. If it didn't, that's why. <sighs> come on out and play for a little bit. We gotta come out. There you go. She doesn't like you, Buttercup. I don't blame her. Stay away. No, ma'am. They like your scarf. I guess so. <laughs> ah, you silly. Look like you're ready for the desert. This ain't desert weather. The desert. 
Yeah, that's what people wear out in the desert with all the sand dust. Alright Hope, we're going to put you back and give you some chaff hay. Okay. It's dark back here. It is dark back here, huh? There you go. Hope. Have some chaff hay. You got plenty of water. You got plenty of hay. Behave yourselves. You pig, who just burped? Huh? Who burped? You pigs. What's the matter, Willow? You don't like that snow falling on you? Well, I guess we're not going to find out how the rainwater collection pipes work. <laughs> Come on. She's full of it. Yeah, she is. Tanner, she's full of it. Chickens all went inside. I don't mind them. Yeah. What's the matter, girls? You're not liking the snow? I don't blame you. Oh, you destroyed the cabbage. <laughs> oh, there's nothing left to that, girls. Oh, we got moose hiding over here with some ladies. Okay guys, stay dry and warm. Huh, you trying to stay out of the snow? Yeah. I don't blame you. I hear the plow truck coming. You, you hear the noise? Oh yeah. Snow is coming down pretty good right now. I hope we don't get too much. Wow, lady, every time I open the door, you're right there flying at me. What? Look at that little tiny egg. Holy moly. The sun's out now, and it's 38 degrees out. Today was just one of those days that it didn't go as planned. First, the computer editing software crashed. Then the rain turned into snow. I was not expecting that at all. But the best way to end the day was finding that little baby egg. Olivia can't wait for us to open it up, and she wants to scramble it and have scrambled eggs out of it. So we're going to focus on the tiny little fairy egg is what I've heard him called in the past. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys. Tomorrow is going to be a great day. Today was fun. It's always an adventure. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.